Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and we're inside here in the glass special room that is here for Con Expo. Why is it special? Because it's got this station in it, and Jason here from Capital is going to tell us what this is all about. It's remote control, people. Yes, everyone's going to say, oh, well, we've seen this before because we've seen it in mining and quarrying applications. You're all wrong, folks. This is remote control, the general construction, isn't it, James? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So this is something I'm particularly interested in because we've got a big construction project in the UK at the moment called HS2. So this is ideal to take HS2 24 hours a day and to do some applications from safer seats like this, isn't it, Jason? That's correct, yes. So tell us a bit about it. So what we have here is what we call a command station. Um, we also have a command console and it all comes under the umbrella of uh, CAT command. But what you can see here is it's the new uh, command station that we have that will be integrated in the construction industries. Yeah. Okay. It's universal so it can operate multiple machines. It can operate tractors, it can operate wheel loaders, yeah. excavators. Okay, and more products as we develop further. So this is important. It's CAT product group at the moment. Will it be Multi OEM in the future? Uh, it possibly could be, yeah, but yeah. obviously we've got to get it all running right within the, within Caterpillar first. Yeah. But then, you know, once it's running, it's integrated, then we could look at other OEMs. Yeah, so I think this is really exciting, guys, because when CAT do something, they do it right. And now we can see them going all the way through those machines and then saying to the customer groups, look, this is what we can achieve and we can go 24 hours. That's we correct. can have an operator in the seat here that might have disability, so they can't get on site, but they could be a brilliant operator. Exactly, say. yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's a great point. We have you know people out there that have worked in the industry before, yeah. they've been injured, hurt, and can't work. If you put them into a command station, there's no vibration, there's no fatigue uh, being caused through vibration that you would get when you're in the machines. Yeah. So it's an ideal situation. Easy to get into, easy to get out. 80% of our injuries are caused by getting on, off machines. That's right, and this is a big safety factor that I know, you know, we're trying to improve all the time, but guess what? The best safety factor you can ever have, folks, is for not even having to get onto the machine yourself. Guess what you have to do to do that? All you've got to do is hit a button there and you're into the machine straight away. That's just incredible, yes. really. Yes. So, let's talk about practical sight. What can happen is you may have some spoil heaps in certain areas of the site. Yeah. Okay. These spoil heaps are usually um, have an operator in a machine and they're usually waiting. Yeah. Okay. That costs money, costs the customer money. Yeah. Whereas if you can have one operator operating, say, three machines, three different spoil heaps, he can actually switch between all of them. Okay. He could operate one spoil heap, get that done, move to the next spoil heap by just pressing a button. Okay. It usually takes between three and five seconds to move to the next machine. Wow. Work on that spoil heap. Once he's finished there, again, hit the next one, three to five seconds, and then move to the third machine and do the work there. One machine, one operator. We're looking at how we can improve productivity, safety, but also sustainability. Correct. Now, I've had a chat with a, a main plant hire recently, and they're talking about fuel. That's now, they're not just talking about fuel with a fuel and machine. They're talking about the fuel in a holistic sense, yes. which is the fuel of getting the operator to site. Exactly. Getting the bowsers to site, yes. etc. So yeah. we're cutting down this idle time. Yes. We're getting one operator operating three machines in the spore That's heap. correct. That is going to reduce the carbon footprint of that particular project dramatically. That is correct. On a site like HS2. Yeah. You know, just actually feeding the operators and getting to them feeding stations yeah. is going to be huge because they're going to have to travel distances. Yeah. Okay. And the logistics behind that is, is, is huge as well. Whereas if you're in a command station, the user can actually just take his break within the vicinity that he's in and get back in once he's finished his lunch and away he goes again. Yeah. So for me, folks, this is the future. We've got safety, we've got productivity. We've got reduced fuel and reduced impact. Correct. And when we're talking about fatigue here, folks, because people are going to be long shifts on major projects, fatigue is not going to be as much of an issue because this person is sat here, they can take regular breaks, Correct. they can get up and walk around, and they don't have to be in the pouring rain that we have exactly. in a lovely UK. Yes. So this is a big deal for the industry, everyone. Jason, thanks very much for talking okay. to us. No problem. And we want to come back and see some remote action in the UK, folks. Yes. Thanks very much, Thank Jason. you. Thank you. <laughs>